All right, all right. We've been given the green light. Uh, welcome back to NHRAM Fox, uh, brought to you by Dodge, powered by Dodge. And um, I'm sorry, again, is it is it Chris? It's Daryl Martin. It's Steve. Steve? No, I'm just kidding. It's Daryl Martin. <laughs> I've had a couple guys call me Cruz in this show already. Daryl Martin, uh, marketing uh, from SeaTech Manufacturing. Yeah, that's correct, yes. All right, all right. Well, good to have you. So I'm very familiar, and I told you this story before we, uh, we came on stage here. I was walking around in Cruz's shop, and I was impressed. I mean, here's a 56-foot uh, race car hauler. Uh, there's a couple of nitro funny cars. He's juggling some bodies around. And, and one of the most impressive things was this, was this rolling uh, pit cart, and that was a CTA. It was one of your products. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what it makes? So we're, uh, we're a manufacturer based out of Weston, Wisconsin, and we do aluminum carts, cabinets, and drawers. Um, it's all configurable products, so pretty much any storage need, be it race trailer, shop, um, in the pits, track side, uh, we're taking care of these teams. Um, we've got a very personal representation with our product line managers and stuff like that. Um, and we just like to see these guys achieve great things in racing and help them be the most efficient they can in the process. Well, you hit the nail on the head. Efficiency is the name of the game in an organization. And I can really speak to this, and I'll tell you this little story. I have uh, two younger boys, they're 10 and 12. And one of the things that, that I've really taught them, and it's so hard, it's really so hard to get a mechanic to do. Maybe a, a technician might be a, a little more inclined to be organized uh, because they're dealing with electronics. Uh, but, but when they built Legos when they were younger, uh, before they, they wanted to tear everything open and start just start building it, and I would make them separate the colors because, um, you know, on the, on the early early on they just want to start building they feel that they're making progress but long term you got to organize everything and then open up the instructions and i think i think racing uh, and mechanics and when you're dealing with car parts i mean it's a lot like that so i've seen your product and a lot of the trailers um that i've seen going down the road um and, and that's an option that's an option that you guys have available it's just not just cabinets but there's a uh, tool storage as well isn't there yeah, so we've got cabinets and race trailers. We actually started our company based on um, aluminum cabinetry for race trailers. And then we've, we've just kind of gone where our customers asked us to go. So we, we went into pit carts, uh, toolbox, gar garage and shop cabinets. We do, um, we do drawer inserts for service body trucks in different industries. So we're servicing different industries besides race. Um, but we like to say that, that racing is really the tip of the spear it, it starts the relationships. You, you build a good, strong relationship with the team. Um, you help them out with their, with their programs, and you get them to be as successful as possible. And then it goes on into different industries as well. Well, and of course, the, uh, the visual, cosmetically, uh, you guys have to pay a lot of attention uh, to what the finished product looks like. Because from what I've seen, you guys pay a lot of attention to detail. When you walk into today's race car hauler, uh, it, most of them are pretty impressive. So you're walking into uh, this work area, this workspace, where they're storing engines. Uh, they have fuel pumps in one drawer, generators and pistons and piston racks and cylinder heads. Um, but when you walk into one of these trailers, it, it's pretty modern. It's pretty impressive just to see the finished product. And, and so do you guys have designers that that uh, start the process, or does it go to the engineers and then and then go into the other hands? So really, we've got a really skilled, I mean, we're a smaller company. Uh, we've, we're probably about 50 to 60 employees in-house, but we've got a very, very skilled sales team where we call them product line managers because they know that product inside and out. So what happens is, is our product line manager will work with the teams, uh, work with the customers on the request. They'll draw up the quote, it'll get sent to our, our um, engineering team. We've got a full-fledged engineer engineers in-house and they take care of all the design make sure that the request that the customer wants is going to work and last and then uh, give it to the end user and they're always happy you know and, and we're talking about racing I mean, we're here at PRI and we see titanium a lot of carbon more and more carbon in the industry I don't know have you guys moved to carbon I know that uh, from my past experience when I had my hauler we we could not exceed a certain weight going over the scales so I know that's something that that the uh, that the operator that the team owner is always conscious of is trying to maintain some level of, of weight, but I, I know that's something you're you're conscious of because I know that Cruz had a lot of your cabinets and storage in his hauler at one time. Yes, that's correct. And um, what we've done is we've got an all aluminum construction. We haven't gone to carbon fiber. We've done inserts and stuff like that on doors as requested by mm -hmm. by end users, um, but we stayed with aluminum. Uh, for example, if you're going to do 
a cabinet set in a, in a race hauler. We were able to save up to almost 4,000 pounds of tongue weight, um, and that's huge. Like you're talking about with these scales, you're going up to the, you're you're hauling all this extra equipment, so you're worried about that original payload, mm -hmm. and you really want to get that down as far as possible. So going with aluminum cabinets from SeaTech, you've been able to lessen that original load so that you can put more tools and haul more equipment. I haven't been to your booth, but you guys have a booth here. Uh, what's correct, what's correct. the booth number? 2625. 2625. So uh, so tell me a little bit about what you guys have. You showed me a picture earlier. Uh, it made me want to go by there and, and stop by and check it out. But I know some of the tool carts uh, that are on wheels are pretty impressive. They uh, they almost look like you could put an engine in them. But but is it a double decker, a, t a two a two layer? So we're releasing our uh, our new ultra cart this year at the PRI show, and it's a dual deck system. Um, this is actually going to the IMSA series. And it's going to be presented as we're basically adding another tier to pit lane. This is this is trackside support at its best. Um, our our original one was a single deck. You could house about eight people on board. Right now, this one's configured wow. to have 17 people on this dual deck system. Uh, we also have a, a nice array of shop cabinets. We've done a lot of shop storage over this over the last couple of years, and our customers love it because they're they're looking at it as they want their employees to be in shop one and have the same tools and layout as they are in, in bay six. You know, it's, it's all about efficiency when it comes to shop and seeing, and also presentation. You said about our attention to detail. We've got an in-house powder coat line, so everything's getting powder coated. We've got radius corners. So it's, it's a show finish with an industrial, uh, really an, an industrial um, strength. But Darrell, where do you find your biggest customer? You mentioned IMSA. Um, you know, of course, uh, sprint car racing, midget racing, uh, late model. It, you seem like you're, I see that product a lot in those different series. But uh, where's, where's the biggest demand for, for the roller cart that, that we were talking about? Um, I mean, we've, we've got a nice array of them out in the NHRA pits as well. Um, our, our owner, actually, he's a, he won Division 5 this year. Wow, okay. Points wise, so that's awesome. Jim Greenheck, big shout out to him, him and Brandon, Brandon yeah. Frank, um, our crew chief. But those guys, they have a really nice setting. They know a lot of guys in, in the series, so they're doing a really nice job of, of representing our product at the track there. Uh, as far as the rest of us go, you know, we're, we're going down to Road America, which is by Elkhart Lake. We're servicing a lot of the track guys down there. So we're in IMSA, we're in the Pirelli Challenge. We've got a couple carts out there in Indy. Um, NASCAR is huge. Uh, the Xfinity and the Cup Series both use our carts. And that's both trackside and in the pits. You know, that's behind the scenes and then also what's getting broadcasted out there. Well, that's the reason I asked. I wasn't real familiar with it because I had an involvement with a, a big tool company. So we had a lot of roller carts. However, what you guys make is very unique. It seems like it would really lend itself uh, to the sport of drag racing. And, and uh, you know, of course, I was always conscious of the appearance of the pit, the efficiency, how easy, easily we could access um, parts. If we could roll them out of the trailer and, and secure them at night, that was really the goal. So uh, um, can't wait to come by the booth and check it out. Appreciate you spending a little time with us, and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Pretty impressive so far? Yeah, very, very impressive. Uh, we've, been, we've been very busy, whereas I basically walked from my booth to your booth. <laughs> On the way back, I'm going to zigzag a little bit more, but, I mean, there's a lot of people here today. It's been a great turnout. Um, really nice having me on the show. Thank you for that, Tony. Yes, sir. Good talking with you, and uh, we'll look. We'll be looking for your bot. He runs Division Five. You say Jim Green? Yep, Jim Greenheck runs Division Five. He won points this year, so that's a huge, huge accomplishment for him. Very happy, very proud for him. Well, he makes a great product. Thank you again, Daryl, for stopping by and spending time with us. Appreciate it.